You can tell my energy level in this video is low because I'm, I've just woken up as compared to other moments when my energy level might clearly be high. Aw, oh, fucking Robbie, what's up, dude? This is, uh... Is this part 12 or is this part 13? Uh... It's either part 12 or part 13. I clearly don't remember because I'm... Uh, charading between those the two, so I'm not entirely sure. But we're in the tower now. And I'm gonna guess these guys aren't gonna make it. And now I've got, what is this? Bullseye. Who's this? I honestly don't remember a lot of the tower. Because uh, we've mentioned this before. You know, I always play like you often always find yourself playing the beginning of games, or you be more familiar with the beginning of games, uh, rather than the ending of games. It's not like I usually chapter select just to play the final parts of a game, like over and over again. But you may find yourself starting a game over and over again. And these guys got really powerful, like, guns. And they hurt. Oh my god. It's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Oh, uh, this is not good. Eh, yeah, there we go. Gonna have to take a different approach. I just woke up. Which is odd because, you know, I always record these things really late. So I almost never am just waking up. I'm always about to go to sleep. And I just woke up because I had like a little nap. Which is also extremely rare because I don't nap. Ever, actually. I often tell people, uh, if someone's like, oh yeah, I just had a nap, I'm like, you know what, that's funny, because I can't nap, ever. Don't, I like how that yelling, like, damages me. I'm like, I can't nap, ever. If I go to sleep, because, you know, napping, sleeping, but, so if I go to sleep, I'm sleeping, like, I, and I'm fucking out for, like, at least, minimum eight hours, unless I have to be up for, like, work or something, which, you know, in which case, I, I get really, like, cranky and it sucks. No, these guys are gonna just keep storming me. I'll just sap this place. Jesus Christ. I don't wanna fuck this up, because I'm really losing a lot of health here quick. Jesus! Alright, did I get them? Is that all of them? Okay. Yeah, so I, j I actually had just a little bit of a nap, which I don't I don't often find myself having. Maybe two hours? Two, three hours, maybe? It actually feels pretty good. I wish I could do that more often. I don't know why I could do it now. For, like, the whole day, like, I... It's a, it's a Monday I'm recording this, and I'm just, like, so fatigued. I don't know why, I'm just having one of those days. Could you guys all please die so I can get through this area? There we go. At least I'm all healed up now. These, these Chimera aren't playing, man. These are some strong Chimera. Yeah, I'm just having one of those days you wake up and you just... If you got no energy and you just don't want to do anything. It's kind of hard to even play games because you're like that just f like out of it. Like, you, you can't sleep, but you can't do anything else. And I guess I could sleep once it got to a certain point. But not sleep sleep, because it was a nap. Boy, we talk about great stuff here. Okay, do I kill you? Because I honestly don't remember. This is a lot easier when you have someone else here, considering the last time I played this game and beat it completely was uh, when I was doing co-op. Alright, so he just leaves, I guess. I'm just gonna keep going forward. And hope this doesn't... Hope, hoping this goes away, but it clearly doesn't. Oh, he's still there. Oh, what are these? Don't know! No, 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 no. Ah, Jesus, dude.
There we go. Oh my god, I'm almost dead already! Why? Yeah, look for more. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, now this is open. Oh, shitload of jimmies came out. I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna have to like keep my focus here so I don't die again. <laughs> don't want that to happen. I want to like the arc charger, but it takes forever. You can't use it in burst fire. I let it recharge and everything. That guy almost jumped at me. I could tell. He's like just a few more inches. I'm gonna jump on this guy. Nice. I also really don't want to die because the checkpoints in this are unforgiving. They won't forgive you if you die. They'll be like, nah man, you fucked up. You're gonna have to go all the way back. I like the Reapers, but at the same time I don't. Which, the Reapers are the gun, the, the, the guns I'm currently using. Not the Reapers from Mass Effect, but, but I also don't like them either because they were doing lots of bad stuff. What's down here? Should I be aware of anything down here? I'm gonna take the lower route. There's a lot of guys in here, so clearly we had some men storm this location at one point. But you couldn't get the tower to shut down. Which is a damn shame, because then I wouldn't have to be here. Actually, don't all three resistances you shut down a tower? I know for sure that's what the case in three. But you kind of shut down the, the tower in three by other means, because it's so packed with Chimera. And it's a little more realistic in a sense of like, okay, one man is not going to bring down that whole tower. Even though that more or less is still technically what happens because he brings it down. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this room's filled with those, uh, sniper guys. Is it just me, or do these sniper guys almost never hit you? Like, it's extremely easy to take care of these guys. I don't think they're in any other... Oh, no, they're in Resistance 3. For some reason, 2's really blanking out for me, story-wise. But I think that's because... I mean, I know the... I remember the ending to 2, because that's uh, a very clear-cut, like, remembering sort of thing, but... I remember a lot of the co-op uh, co and Resistance 2. That's mostly because I put so many hours into it. Did it solo too, so it wasn't even it wasn't even co-op for me. It was a uh, one-op. Sometimes that's that's the best co-op, but it's such a pain in the ass if it's just you, because then like you know you you die and you're out. That game was very he heavily dependent on like reviving and stuff. So if you were playing alone, which you could do, you were done. There were so many Chimera on that on each map. Like so many. There was like that that woodland area where it was there was like, was like over a hundred Grims and then like so many of those big dudes, the Titans. That was fun though. The Resist Resistance 2 Platinum was a platinum for me that took like five years, I think. Four or five years because the competitive 10,000 kills online. I got 2,000 legit. <coughs> I sneezed. I got 2,000 legit and then just got burned out because at that point I had already beaten the story with like on superhuman mode, which there's actually like, a workaround for it where you don't have to play the whole thing on superhuman. But then, you know, you do the, the co op, which is like 40 hours, and then competitive, which takes forever. So I got burned out at 2,000 kills. But then on uh, there's a exploit you can do. To get the rest of the 10,000, which I just did like four months ago. That's how recent I got my platinum for Resistance 2. And the, the, the exploit was if you have two PS3s, 
uh, you download the, you buy the extra map packs, which is it's such, so fucking sad that I paid for these map packs when clearly I'm not going to really use them because no one plays the game anymore. And now no one really plays the game anymore because the servers are offline. But you buy the map packs and then you set up the two PS3s and you, like, the these map packs have close respawn points. So you have to match make and find yourself into ranked servers and you can continuously snipe each other and you'll respawn like right in the same spot so you don't have to readjust or move your scope that much. Oh, I'm snorting snot and it's disgusting, I'm sorry. And then you could just work your kills up from there. And I got extra lucky because for some reason like the kills were like all messed up. Like I would do I would do a, a boosting session and get maybe 200 kills in one game and I'd leave the game and it says I have like an extra thousand. So they weren't even counting the kills right. And it worked in my favor because at, at one, the, I got the platinum when I was about to start a new game. So like I finished a game and I knew I didn't get all, I, I knew I still didn't have all the kills necessary but then I jumped into a, a new game and as the game started it was like pudding, pudding. Also got super lucky when I started boosting Grand Theft Auto 4's Platinum Trophy. Because the only trophy left I had for that for like four years was reaching rank 10 online. And when you start doing the boosting method for that, that one's all screwy too. Where you don't even need uh, all the money required to hit rank 10 online. For some reason, it'll just like sporadically jump around and give you extra cash. So good stuff there. But, man... Uh, online trophies that require so much boosting. Fuck you. You know? F you guys. If I ever develop a game, I would I would make sure that... Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze again. Uh, uh. Uh, fucking do it! Fucking do it! Ah, uh, damn it, dude. I'm gonna pause the game and blow my nose. I'll cut it out, because you don't want to hear it. Uh, feel better. Yeah, if I made a game, I would make sure that the trophy list for it is awesome. So there's no missable trophies. You can always backtrack to get what you missed. Um, I probably wouldn't have online in my game because I would like to make a single player game. So no multiplayer trophies. I mean, that's pretty much it. If you're doing a single player only game, make sure nothing's missable. Well, that's kind of hard to do if you've got a sequenced up story or something. We were losing the battle outside the tower. The few tanks that remained would soon be overwhelmed by the seemingly infinite hordes of Chimera. Our only hope lay with the few soldiers who had managed to infiltrate the tower. It was up to them to find a way to destroy it from the inside. Oh, we are getting there. Last hope. This might be it. This might be the last part. This should be the last part. I had a train of thought and then I lost it. I was choo-chooing down the tracks and I just, I don't know. I went, the, I went to the wrong station. I don't know what I was going to say. This is going to be it, though. More or less. Well, that was anticlimactic. I thought we were still going to go up. Don't know why I keep going around this whole bend. I wonder if I have all, all the intel for the Chimeran Tower. No, I don't. I'm missing two. Well, maybe I'll find them. Well, this looks like a big shootout area. Of course. Leapers. Okay, I'm just now noticing that when I picked up my, like, it made me switch to my bullseye earlier, it's because you picked up a, a better version of it. That, like, causes more damage. See, I didn't remember that. You can tell my energy level in this video is low because I'm, I've just woken up. 
as compared to other moments when my energy level might clearly be high. Aw, oh, fucking Robbie, what's up, dude? You know, and that was a bad time to be just staring at me with a blank expression, because Jonathan over here is pissed off. I love personifying everything. Aw, man. I remember when I was in school, uh, and I needed something, and it was like, you know, some like you know, across the desk or something. I would I would personify it, and I would always give it a name, like hand me hand me Harold. Like what are you talking about? And I clearly I clearly be pointing at a binder or a notebook or something, but I like hand me Harold, like he's right over there. <laughs> he's right over there. Or hey, where's Stewie? Like get him over here. I try to go for really obscure names, and sometimes like names that were very cultural, so they, they didn't even think it was a name, and I'm like, hey, where's Krupa? And they're like, what's Krupa? And I'm like, it's a very rich, rich Indian name, what do you mean? Like, you don't gotta be such a, like, a you know, dick about it. I didn't even get offended. I always tried to have my fun in school. Because I'm, I'm the kind of person <laughs> who, uh, so I often sometimes won't even care about making other people laugh, it's just about making myself laugh at the expense of making me look fucking weird. Oh, why'd you kill that guy, man? So unnecessary. Wow, I killed that guy really fast. Yeah, this is definitely a stronger bullseye. Probably gonna have to fight another one of those. Watch. Jesus. Ah. I hate these guys, because, like, their bullseye is so good. It's as good as mine now. Or mine is as good as theirs, because I'm the one that walked in here. I don't want to waste my... Uh, uh, far I go. It's such a good gun. It's very crucial in stages like this. Kind of a big room for what is really not a whole lot of shootout. Is there anything over here useful, like health? I don't know why you're giving me raw some more ammo when... Oh, come on, I'm just walking into nothing. I don't want to walk into enemies. I don't know why you're giving me Ross more ammo, and like, you know, that, that requires close quarters combat, and I don't think I want to be up close and personal with these Chimera. I learned firsthand that's not a good idea. Oh. Watch, one's going to be behind me. I'm not going to like it either. That's cheap. That's cheap attacking me from behind. Oh, there's some Chimera up here. Well, clearly I'm not going to be able to hit them with something else. Oh, come on, that was right in his fucking head. Oh, okay. Alright. Jesus, I almost fell off this tube thing. Oh, okay. Um, this, so, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is, this will be the last part. Uh, but let's get it, get it out now. So what is the next game? I always want some input from the viewers. What is the next game? Uh, I am openly acknowledging many people have asked for an Infamous game. For, for a long time. Whether it was Infamous 1, 2, or even Second Son. So, do you want Infamous to be next? Because I know a few people have asked for that. Otherwise, if you're, if you're feeling something else, and there's clearly an overwhelming response, not to, like, use a word where it's like there's hundreds of you, because there's literally tens of you, but uh, let me know what the next game is. The vocal minority are always the ones that are going to be, you know, I'm going to respond to you because you're the ones that actually take the time to say something, so. Please let me know, and then we'll start the next game. Which, I don't mind it being infamous, man. If it's infamous, that, that'd rock, actually. Whichever one your little heart desires. It's actually been a long time since I played Infamous 1. Because I think that's just one of those games that, for me, I got the Platinum, and then, like, I never played it again. So I only played it twice. And that was back in 2008? Was it? When did Infamous 1 come out? 2008 or 9? That was the last time I played that. So that, that might be cool. 
That game had some awesome morality choices, too. Might be down with that. I'm really looking forward to Sucker Punch's next game, which, of course, is going to be years out now, but... Because they just launched Second Son, but... Man, Sucker Punch is a fucking awesome developer, dude. Awesome, awesome developer. I can't wait to see what they're doing next. Oh, hey, this guy again. What are you going to do this time, buddy? Bring it. Oh, come on. Chimera, really? How do you... Oh, okay, so Chimera don't take fall damage. That's great. Something's kidding me. Okay. 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 Oh, there's two of them, dude. So not cool. Shit, 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 shit. And now I'm on my last ditch of health. This is not looking good for me. Granted, I just picked up more, but... Ah, oh, splitter, okay. I said this gun wasn't that great, but there is there is an upside to the splitter, and the splitter the upside to that is that it's great for taking out like stalkers and bosses. Where did the other one go? Because it does a lot of damage, so it's kind of use useless if you're going to use it on like standard enemies. Where the? Okay, finally, dude, I'm going to need you to stay still just for a second. Thank you. Wow, only that only take two? Jesus. OP. Wow, really could have used your guys' help earlier. I'm going to be ready for anything. Close quarters, fire. This weapon's actually really good, too, because it one hit kills anything as long as it touches it. Not bosses, of course, but like if, if you're dealing with an auger or something. Auger enemies. You can get a lot out of this. Like, don't, like, tap R1 rather than hold it. You're gonna get a lot out of this gun. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Oh, Intel. Wow, right here. How did I not pick this one up before? British Intelligent Corps, uh, you can pause YouTube to, to read that. Because, you know, that's how it works. Like, on Handle It, man. And this is like, if you're two seconds in and they're like, alright, pause the screen, motherfucker. And then you can read the recipe. And it's like, yeah, that's funny. I like how they do that, but seriously, dude, you can't fucking put it in the description where it's an easy copy paste. I gotta keep your video up. Dat SEO. Well, that's not search engine optimization, but that's a, a way to keep viewer retention high. Because the higher your viewer retention is, I think the more, uh, but the, the better your videos are for like advertisements and ads being sold in your videos and higher paying ads being sold in your videos and audience retention is uh, how long people are staying to watch your videos so if you <laughs> yeah if you keep the video paused that's actually a pretty clever way oh we got a thing going up here This is it. This is it. Oh, look at all these people. Where did all you guys come from? Yeah, I'm gonna spray fire all over you guys. Okay, lo losing lots of health really, really quickly. Gonna stay back from now on. Like, I'm playing easy, but you gotta keep in mind last level. Okay, well, I got some. Yeah, I got some stuff here. 
Well, I get the Chimera. They're more dangerous than that dude is. walking this way. Keep walking this way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. We got to shoot uh, those core things. I think. And then the tower's going to crumped come crumbling down like a game of Jenga we're carefully pulling out a piece of this giant puzzle and it's gonna come crashing down they should make a Jenga that rebuilds itself after you play a game because that's the worst fucking part of Jenga is like picking up all the blocks it's the worst part of anything is picking up the mess I always played with like connects when I was a kid and yeah so there was like yeah there was like there was Legos and there was connects I liked Legos the Legos were expensive and for some reason connects were really affordable and I loved connects because what you build from them is so massive and every year connects would have this like this big set piece that comes out like the roller coaster one but they've they had they've had, they've had a few ro roller coaster ones or a rocket ship or the ferris wheel or the pinball machine and those are like big builds like the box is like a tv box and then you pull you take all these pieces out and they're all laid out and these this like each set each of these yearly like gigantic sets could like i don't know like four or five feet tall and they it's like a something you'd spend the whole day working on and they were so fucking fun so i always built those but because they're so fucking massive you can't like, you can't keep them. You can't keep them built up. Like I could have them up for like a couple days, and my mom would be like, "Okay, like you're gonna have to like take this down at some point." I'm like, "Ah, oh, it sucks." So that that really bloated. Spending the whole day building something that huge, and they gotta take it down. We did keep the pinball machine built, uh, stay uh, like up though. What? The, oh my god, dude! Oh my god! No! But there's so many! Jesus Christ! Oh! Fucking die, dude! Oh, I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need some. Oh, no! Dude, where's the fucking help? Please! Oh, no. There's no health anywhere. Oh, uh, where's the thing? Another reactor thing has been exposed. Yeah, I got an issue here, though, dude. And he keeps moving. Oh, there he is. He's dead. Where's the thing? Before more Chimera come out. How many does it take? Oh my god! Not separate. Oh, health! Where's the camera? I know they're coming. I know they're coming. Oh, there's one. Oh, you bitch. Come on, fucker. Just take the bullet like a fucking chimera. I saw one over here. Oh, he's over here. And over there. Shit, 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 shit. Need to stay and get health. Oh, okay, I was actually in the open. There we go. I 
Anybody else? Oh yeah, that that core exposed. Jesus, dude. Stay down. Is there another one? There's only three? Oh, there's four. Oh, yes. I'm gonna camp back here. Oh, he's... I can do this. Wow, that thing died real quick. I think that was it. Is that money? As the tower fell, Khmeran creatures began to shriek and writhe on the ground. They died within minutes. We believe they were simply unable to survive the loss of the Angels. The significance of our victory in London wasn't understood for several days. The reactor meltdown caused a chain reaction that destroyed all the towers in the network. At least in Britain, the Chimera were defeated. We have investigated the ruins of five towers so far. As we attempt to reverse engineer the complex technologies we find, the mystery of the Chimera only deepens. With combat subsided, the soldiers have been searching the rural villages for survivors. So far, we found 921 hiding in bunkers and basements, 78 of them children. Cartwright's youngest daughter, Angela, was among them. As for Nathan Hale, his body was never recovered. He was presumably incinerated inside the tower. The American military lists him as killed in action, July the 14th, 1951. A part of me still believes he might have escaped somehow. I even thought I heard his voice on the radio just after the tower exploded. I'll never know for sure. And that, my friends, is Resistance Fall of Man on the PlayStation 3. Fun game, great game, PS3 launch title. Whew. So it kind of like, of course, leaves it pretty ambiguous at the end, but of course we know Hale does live because he's in Resistance 2. And we'll play Resistance 2 eventually, but we're not going to overdo the Resistance load, if you will. We're not going to blow it all in one little stretch of game. Now remember, we do have Resistance 3 already completely, completely recorded co-op, but that'll be uploaded probably again later down the road because we don't want to do it, overdo it. So what's the next game? I know you want, a lot of people said Infamous, so uh, let's figure that out. This has been uh, another Let's Play by yours truly, Ryan Badecki. Thank you so much for uh, playing with me, watching with me, doing everything with me. Um, we're just best buds, aren't we? Uh, take care, and I'll see you all in my next video.